Hey, Mama's on her way down. Hello. Trendy, Mama. <laughs> oh, uh, who is behind me? Oh. So, Gigi's literally here. Yeah, she's doing my Where's your uh, shoes, honey? Why is she here? She has her babies. We can't keep her out. No, this is a good room, Mama. Nobody even uses it. Um, is there any babies? No, there's no Where's babies. No, I don't know. She took it out. No, they're usually hiding under stuff. Usually under the sofa. Oh, why are you talking about Yasino? It's here, Ella's here. We're going out for um. No, no, no. She's as tall as me. Look at that. I'm actually not. I'm wearing these shoes. My little baby's as tall as me. Oh my gosh, she's only wedged. ten year old. Eleven. Oh yeah, eleven year old. Sorry. Okay, so yeah, we're going out. Children taking me out for dinner, for lunch. Look what Ella's wearing. Ella, what are you wearing? Um, this someone got me. Yeah, I bought you. I bought her this from Saudi. And my shoes? From Umrah. My shoes make me, me look tall. She's already tall. She's tall. She's tall. And my Gigi's somewhere here. Um, have a look. She gave birth to kitten again. Um, I made her appointment her two times to do it her. But, um, you know, Pat's home is always fully booked. So she gave me another four children and I don't know what to do with that. I don't know. I hate when my blinds are open. I'm gonna... Because the cleaner come. And she leaves the blinds open. These children, when I'm not home, they always mess with my camels. So you never come to this room before? No. What about for the Gigi children? Um, I was saying on that sofa. Is it? I hate when these blinds are open, I don't know. Even in summer, children want to open it. Oh, I have that pot. Oh, you pot. good? I put my sweets in there. Ah. When you come, you can clean the curtains. Even though... Now, I'm so mad at you. They thoroughly clean the house. But still, I want things, you know, with my own way like even these camels i want it with my own way koi bhi cheez idhar se udhar hoti hai to mujhe annoying karti hai now it's perfectly okay oh children ne ye jagah bhi mess ki hui hai isko bhi thoda sa theek kar deti hu ye mere bachon gadon ke medals hain jab bacche the और ये चेयर हमेशा इधर होती है इसको इसको देखो थोड़ा भी है बच्चों ने अल्लाह चलो अब चलते हैं बाहर आहिस्ता आहिस्ता दो तीन दिन लगेंगे घर को ठीक करने में फिर घर ठीक हो जाएगा तो फिर मैं चली जाऊंगी फिर ये बच्चे कमान मलिया कैन यू फुल डाउन चलो चलते हैं I am hungry. Me too. I am hungry. Bubby. Bubby is very busy. Why are you eating? You going out? For, you not going out? Oh. Are we gonna bring him some food? This is this is my princess. This is my princess. After a long time, me and my other half, she's my other half. <laughs> we are together. Uh, hello, hello. Assalamu alaikum wa alaikum salam. Wa alaikum salam wa rahmatullah. Good. I hope you've enjoyed my parents' um, rekindling of their love together because we've definitely enjoyed it. Uh, it's very different. Uh, Siddiq was saying as well yesterday, he's like, before when I used to say something bad about Papa, Mama used to be like, yeah, you're right. And now she's like, <coughs> no, he's not. He's not like that. <laughs> because he changed himself a lot. So it's never too late. It's never too late. Yeah, even though Mama uh, said it was late. Le let me, let me. So this vlog is going to be basically our dinner and about Papa Khan. Okay, Mama, okay? don't look here though. Okay. okay. So, 
यू नो मेरिकल ऑलवेज हैपन सो मैं उर्दू में बात करूंगी ना फिर इंग्लिश में करेगी क्योंकि मेरे आई तो ची कीप ईश कीप सॉन्ग आई कीप बोथ आई एम नॉट गोइंग टू डू उर्दू एनीमोर बिकॉज़ पीपल कंप्लेन आई एम गोइंग टू डू उर्दू बट आई एम ऑब्वियसली आई एम गोइंग टू जॉइन इंग्लिश एज़ वेल बिकॉज़ माय फॉलोअर्स आर रियली एंग्री विद द विद नॉट स्पीकिंग इंग्लिश ओके बट बिकॉज़ आई एम कंफर्टेबल विद उर्दू सो आई विल स्पीक उर्दू एज़ वेल First of all, I'm so happy to drive my own car. Well, that's my car as well, but still, that's Pakistan car. So, मुझे बहुत बहुत खुशी है आज मैं अपनी गाड़ी चला रही हूँ मैं अपने जाने मन अपने नवासों के साथ बैठी हूँ I feel complete, but I still miss Mr. Khan. Ah, okay. that's so cute. So cool. this this vlog is about our me going out with children, uh, having uh, first. Lunch outside for in restaurant after nine ten weeks, mm -hmm. which is amazing, and I feel like it's after two years. We're going to Karak Chai yeah. because somebody wanted to go. Yeah. So we went to Karak Chai. Mum went there for the opening. Uh, yeah. She was invited. No, second time you took me there the second time. Yes. Uh, as well, I, yeah, I kind of like it. So I didn't like it the first time, but I liked it the second time. I think they were busy the first time. Yeah, yeah. and they look after us as well. They're very good people. Yeah. Anyway, so ये vlog बाहर जाने का भी है और पापा खान की story का भी है. So what happened? I was there. He looked after me a lot. He used to just ignore things like, but he really, he really inspired by my charity work. So. He saw me with his own eyes how I work in my charity. So I think what it is, yeah, is that my dad is like eight, eight, nine years old, eight years older than my mum. Nine, nine, nine. He says eight. Anyway, yeah, he's so nine, 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 nine years, years older, older than, than my mum. Actually, nine and a half year older than me. So, yeah, okay. you're going a bit too much. No, nine you. and a half years. He's nine years older than me. Okay. Anyway, so so he's always looked at my mum as a child. As a child. And it's like. Because yeah. he pick me in his lap when I born. Yeah. So he arrived to our house because his father asked my mum to look after him. My mum was famous in her time uh, in in the family that she look after children very well. Very. Yeah. My mum was the best mum. Yeah. So my father in law gave hand to my mum hand and said that you gonna look after him. You gonna. Teach him all the culture because Baba was here in UK and then he come age of nine uh, to our house and the day he come second day I born and he literally hold me in his hand and because he got uh, five six sisters um, and then when he come he say that my oh my God there some. is another sister there is another girl born. <coughs> so anyway, that's that's why he always treated yeah, her like so a child. Yeah, so he treated her like a child, and anything she would say, he wouldn't really take on board because he thought, look, I'm older than you, and I know the best. I and he's a best. he's got this persona anyway, where he's very confident in what he says, even if it's wrong, and he thinks he's right. So this time. The, my my dad has seen a different side to my mom. She, he's seen her business side and her no pushover side. So there's been certain things that have happened in the charity where my mom's been there. Not only charity as well. In my dad's land stuff. Land problem yeah. in businesses in our yeah. like our tenant over there in Pakistan. I deal with everything in front of yeah, me. Yeah. So my like dad. Like he knew that I'm best business lady here. But then you know he always says I taught her this I teach her this mm. and you don't understand tap in a boy get tap in a boy get he used to say oh you don't know you don't know nothing and another thing which make him really different is his family attitude what do you think so he does the huge thing because he used to uh, he's expected he's always had an expectation even till up till now yeah. about his family from his family but now he know that my family his mother his sisters always put him down always drag him to uh, to to nasty things always insult him or even though he spent all his life in his parents feet and he neglect us for sake of them he always tell me no they they right they right they right he never support me but them and now he see the true face of his family so he come back to me and he he say 
that's what he said now yeah mm. he literally said so i'm going to tell you the whole story what happened but he said that i regret that why a man didn't look after his wife and look after his family mm. that they should it should be a balance or should be the wife and the children go a priority over his own family mm. so that was his word he said i regret it and i'm going to tell everyone from now on that look after the woman jiska rishta allah ne asmano pe tere saath banaya aur phir usne mujhe ek hadith bhi kahi now if you can explain that in english that jab hum marenge aur wapas zinda honge qiamat ke din to wahan sirf khawan aur mard jo honge wo joda karke uthenge wo behan bhai maa baap ke saath nahi uthega wo apni biwi ke saath uthega so this is and you know we were together in alam arwa as well so आसमानों पे भी हमारा जोड़ा बना है दुनिया पे भी जोड़ा बना है और आखरत में भी जोड़ा बना है जाहिर बात है कभी कभी औरत की दो शादी हो जाती है या मर्दों की दो शादी हो जाती है तीन लेकिन ये सब अल्लाह ने रिटर्न किया हुआ है ये सब है तो और कब इख्तलाफात भी हो जाते हैं तलाके भी हो जाती है सेपरेशन भी हो जाते हैं लेकिन अगर री इंसान हो जाए और अगर मर्द और औरत को एहसास हो जाए कि मैं गलत था या थी मेरा पार्टनर मुझे वो सब खुशी दे सकता है जो कि कोई और मर्द कोई और औरत मुझे नहीं दे सकती तो इससे ज्यादा खूबसूरत रिश्ता कोई नहीं है एनीवे anyway, तो ये ना थोड़ा सा पापा के बारे में बताया अब बात रह गई है कि कैसे बात हुई सो so, नाफिया ने तो आपको बता दिया कि उसने मेरा ये साइड देख लिया कि हाउ शी वर्क लाइक ही वॉज literally now yeah he was literally like inspired by me he was standing there looking to me and he said in this hot water weather is it on the oh like you know like dust and thing and these area you working mm-hmm. i said i'm working from last year like that he was like impressed you mean impressed inspired and impressed no oh, is it yeah he want to do same as me he said i want to do same as you like he is a charity man he give charity charity he you know from the day i know this guy he just do charity he love charity but for the first time he told me ke jaise tum kaam karti ho waise main nahi kar sakta hai wo kehta hai main main food pack bhi deta hu to main logo ko aage kar deta hu main piche baith jata hu kyunki mujhse nahi hota itna rush rush and i was literally giving to people and then he was so happy he feel proud on me and he say on you know whenever i visit the village the people come to me hug me and you know they give me love and they say china baji and mama and things like that and he was like he was so happy mm. that was one thing phir kya hua um jab teen char week ye mere sath charity work mein raha to bahut zyada um meri khidmat karne laga ki usually if i hold six bag in my hand he never going to come to hold the bag and he literally tell uh, he literally shout to me he say your hand your arm is bad what are you doing why are you holding this and then he literally shout to my member as well they don't let her uh, carry this heavy thing her, her, her arm is bad she had so many operation and i was like hang on what's going on mm-hmm. i say what 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 this man doing like he never did that in you know? yeah. you are the witness yeah. you never did that so i was kind of confused kind of thing that was going on but then you know then he was literally begging to me to come to dargai his village and i say no i got really bad memories in dargai like you know as i told you before that i was only age of 16 nafia was with me yeah. and i was standing by the by his house and his sister refused uh, to to you know let us in and i was literally crying from the door and my father come and he took us back sad and it's just but very sad and the same house now in the same house i'm there and they know they and i say what mm. what happened you know you know just i i just feel like especially with rishte and stuff people should just parents should just get over it yeah and as long as you know they're muslim yeah i think you should just uh, uh but they jaydad aur ghar aur 
लैंड्स मेरे लिए कभी भी इम्पोर्टेंट नहीं रहे हैं मेरे लिए सिर्फ अगर खान की फैमिली मुझसे थोड़ा सा लव करती थोड़ा सा रिस्पेक्ट देती कसम से मैं अपना मामा ट्राई आप Mama tried. Mama tried. You know what? It was like this. Let me tell you. Like, despite them doing so much to mum, we used to still be crazy about them because my mum yeah. used to tell us all good stuff. She used to. She never used to slag them off to us. And it was only when we grew up and we were like, "What's going on? Why? Why is this happening?" Yeah, and there was a, all money, money, money. Jada, and unfortunately, the money, they used to treat us very differently to compare to their daughter. Yeah. daughter's children. children and now when i watch my mom she treats her son's kids better than me without a doubt consciously when all of the kids are around she treats my brother's kids yeah, way better true. than our kids because, because main think karti hu ki ye meri betiya hai ye khafa nahi hongi par wo meri bahu hai wo khafa hogi to main unke bachcho ko zyada hana hai meeka hai she loves all the, all the grand kids the same same सेम प्यार करती हूँ yeah. लेकिन मैं उनको ज्यादा प्रियोरिटी देती हूँ मैं इनको कह देती हूँ कि मेरे लिए सब सेम है पर तुम लोग मेरी बेटियाँ हो तुम लोग खफा नहीं होगे मुझसे yeah. पर वो खफा हो जाएंगे पर मेरी मदर इन लॉ ने ये नहीं किया मेरी मदर इन लॉ ने हमेशा अपनी बेटियों की बेटियों को एक सिंपल से एग्जाम्पल oh, देती हूँ कि मैं मैं बहुत ज्यादा डिप्रेस नाफिया नहीं नाफिया नहीं सॉरी मलीहा थी मलीहा ने कहा मुझे दूध तो मेरी नंद की एक बेटी थी वो और मलीहा ये दोनों सेम एज की थी तो मेरी मलीहा ने मुझे कहा कि मलीहा मैं बस ऐसे डिप्रेस होके पड़ी हुई थी तो मलीहा ने अपनी दादी को कहा कि मुझे भी मिल्क दो तुमने मेरी कज़न को मिल्क दिया उसके लिए बिल्ली को डालने के लिए तो मुझे भी मिल्क दो मैंने भी बिल्ली को डालना है क्योंकि कोई बाहर बिल्ली आई हुई थी गार्डन में तो मेरी मैं बीमार थी पर ये बात मेरी दिमाग में बस गई है तो मेरी सास आगे से कहती जाओ अपने बाप को को मिल का बोटल लेके आए फिर फिर तुम ले लेना और मैंने मैं इतनी डिप्रेस थी और मेरा दिल ऐसे हो गया कि अल्लाह मुझे ठीक कर दो अपने बच्चों के लिए कि मेरी बेटी एक दूध का गिलास नहीं पता नहीं उस वक्त उसके दिमाग में क्या था हो सकता है उसने मजाक किया हो, हो सकता है जो भी हो पर उसने ऐसे कह दिया और मलीह रोने लग गई तो इतना फर्क करते थे कि मेरी नंद की बेटी को दिया दूध के जो बिल्ली को डाल आओ और मेरी बेटी मासूम को कह अपने बाप को को मिल्क का बोतल लेके आए फिर देना और इसके अलावा भी क्योंकि जब मैं डिप्रेस थी तो मैं इनके घर में जाके खुश होती थी मैं कहती थी ये लोग हैं ज्यादा तो खान मुझे बार बार कहता था घर चलते हैं मैं कहती थी नहीं मैं इधर खुश हूँ तो कितनी दफा मेरी मेरी सास ने कहा कि तुम्हारे सब बच्चे इधर हैं तो ग्रोसरी लाया करो ये लाया करो तो खान बेचारा लाया करता था लेकिन क्योंकि वो काफी बिजी होता था मैं भी बीमार हो गई थी तो हर वक्त मेरी सास का यही होता था तुम्हारे बच्चे यहाँ खाते हैं तो यहाँ लाया करें इवन दो मेरा मेरा ससुर बहुत वेल्थी याद इंसान था काफी घरों का मालिक था पैसों की कोई कमी नहीं थी इनके पास तो वो चीजें दिल में रह गई है मैंने जब आ, अभी चलो खान इन बातों को दफा करो ये तो सारी जिंदगी के साथ ये बातें याद रहेंगी पर फर्क नहीं करना चाहिए बच्चों में फर्क नहीं करना चाहिए खास कर नवासों में पोतों में फर्क नहीं करना चाहिए ड्रामा इस वाल हम कहा के सच्चे हम कहा के सच्चे थे वही तो फर्क करने से ना बच्चों की अब मेरे बच्चों की मेमोरी बहुत गंदी है अपने दादा दादी और उनके बारे में आंटियों के बारे में बो, मैं बहुत भी चाहूँ तो इनकी मेमोरी बहुत गंदी है लेकिन अब ये वक्त ही साबित करेगा कि क्या होगा लेकिन अभी तक वो हमें दुख दे रहे हैं अभी तक दुख दे रहे हैं क्योंकि इनका एक ही भाई है खान एक ही भाई है इनका और खान ने हमेशा हमें निगलेक्ट करके ईद भी इनके साथ गुजारता था बैठता भी इनके साथ था उठता भी इनके साथ था लेकिन फिर भी वो अच्छा नहीं हुआ और अभी तक अब खान को खींचते हैं पहले तो हमें खींचा अब खान को खींचते हैं हर तरफ से मैंने तो खान को ये भी कह दिया मैंने कहा दे दो सारा कुछ इनको दे दो कुछ भी ना लो मैं कहा सब कुछ इनको दे दो अगर ये पैसों की भूखे है ना तो इनको पैसों दे दो अगर इनको बाई नहीं चाहिए ना तो पैसे दे दो सब कुछ इनको दे दो मैंने कहा हमें सारी उम्र अल्लाह ने रखा है हमें आगे भी अल्लाह रखेगा हमें नहीं चाहिए मुझे तो बिल्कुल नहीं चाहिए इनकी कुछ भी नहीं चाहिए मुझे अपने ससुराल से ना मेरे बच्चों को चाहिए 
तो पर खान है वो कहता है नहीं मेरे बाप ने ऐसे कहा है तो मैं ऐसे करूँगा एनी anyway, ये तो फैमिली पॉलिटी पॉलिटिक्स ही चलते रहेंगे तो अब आपको खान की बात बताऊँ कि क्या हुआ तो जब मैं घर आती थी तो मैं बहुत सरप्राइज हो जाती थी बिकॉज ही ट्रीट मी लाइक क्वीन खाना लेके आना तो मेरी पसंद की उसे पता है मुझे आम अमरूद और तरबूज बहुत अच्छा लगता है तो हर वक्त वो कटा पड़ा रहता था मैं तो लड़की परेशान हो गई शीला परेशान हो गई मैं कहा ये क्या हो रहा है फिर मुझे लेके जाता था कि चलो आइसक्रीम खाने जाते हैं हालांकि जब मैं जवान हुआ करती थी तो मैं कहती थी आइसक्रीम खाने चलो कह फ्रिज में पड़ा है खा लो तो मैं कहती थी वाह जो मुझे आते जवानी में पसंद थी वो ऐसी सारी याद थी तो हर रात मुझे आइसक्रीम फालूदा इसके लिए लेके जाता था फिर एक दिन गजब हुआ गजब ऐसी हुआ कि हम सदर में जा रहे थे तो एक बच्चे अब फूल बेच रहा था तो उस फूल वाले उसे खान को ये भी पता है कि मैं फूलों पे मरती हूँ मैं कहती हूँ मुझे कोई कुछ भी ना दे खाना भी ना दे पर मुझे फूल दे तो उसको लड़के को कहते खड़े हो जाओ तो उससे उसने हाथों के बंगल ले लिए फ्लावर्स के तो वो वाइट भी ले ली और रेड भी ले ली है तो उसको कहते नहीं ये प्यारे वाला दे दो तो वो उस लड़के से पूरे पाँच छः बंगल ले लिए तो मुझे कहते मैं पहनाऊँ पहनाओ मुझे क्या है तो वो लड़की कहती मैं मैं पहना दूंगी कहते नहीं नहीं मैं पहना दूंगा तो वो वो पहनाई तो उससे मेरा थोड़ा सा हो गया कि ये आदमी क्या कर रहा है ये सही तो है एनी वे तीन चार दफा ऐसे इंसिडेंट हुए खाने पे लेके जाता था फिर मुझे कहता है कि जनरेशन यूज टू बी माई फेवरेट शॉप कपड़ों की तो मुझे कहता है वो जनरेशन की शॉप है जाना है वहाँ पे मैंने कहा हाँ चली जाऊंगी तो वहाँ गया तो अपनी मर्जी के कपड़े उठाने लगा ये ले, ये भी उसने खुद लिया है ये ले लो ये ले लो मैंने कहा मुझे इतने कपड़े नहीं लेने हैं क्योंकि मुझे इतनी जरूरत नहीं मेरे पास कपड़े बहुत हैं नहीं 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 ये ले लो ये मुझे पसंद है तो टॉप जो थे वो मुझे लेके दे दिए मैंने कहा इतने पैसे ना लगाओ मुझे नहीं जरूरत है कोई बात नहीं ले लो जब कपड़े लिए 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 फिर फिर ऐसे हम आ गए फिर मेरा दिल और खुश हो गया क्योंकि कपड़े भी मेरी बहुत ज्यादा कमजोरी है एंड नफ यू कैन टेल ऑल दिस इन इंग्लिश ये सो फिर बस uh, आया uh, मैं जा रही थी उम्र के लिए तो मुझे कहते हैं कि अगर मैं बिजी ना होता तो मैं तुम्हारे साथ चला जाता तो मैंने कहा भी आ जाओ दो दिन तो है कहते नहीं मेरे कुछ प्रॉब्लम्स है तो मैं नहीं जा सकता हूँ लेकिन मैं तुम्हें अकेले जाने से भी आ, मैंने कहा नहीं मैं अकेली तो नहीं हूँ वहाँ मैविश है वहाँ बिन अमीन है शाहीन है शेर है सब सब कोई मुझसे मिल लेगा मुझे एयरपोर्ट से उठा लेंगे मैंने कहा मैं अकेली तो नहीं हूँ तो मैंने कहा वैसे भी अब फितवा है कि फिफ्टी प्लस आप जा सकते हैं उम्र पर क्या कि हज पर भी जा सकते हैं तो कहते नहीं मेरे साथ वरी होगी मैंने कहा तुम कब से वरी करने लगे हो <laughs> बस मैंने एकदम से कह दिया बस मुझे शायद गुस्सा आया कि मैंने कहा कब से आप वरी करने लगे मैं कहा यू नेवर वरी अबाउट मी मैं तीन बजे घर आऊँ मैं दो बजे घर आऊँ तुमने तो कभी पूछा भी नहीं मुझसे क्योंकि मैं काम के सिलसिले से जैसे कि हमारी मेहंदी नाइट्स होते थे या कुछ पैसे होता था डिवाइन की तरफ से तो मैं बहुत लेट भी आ जाती कभी भी नहीं पूछता था एक पूरी रात हॉस्पिटल में गुजारी तब भी नहीं पूछा मैं कहा कहते जो मैंने किया वो गलत था आगे आगे से कहता है लेकिन अब मैं वो सारा डिपेंड करना चाहता हूँ मैंने कहा तुम्हें क्या लगता है कितने सालों की चीज़ें तुम दो मिनट में डिपेंड कर दोगे तो आगे से कहता है यू आर द ओनली वन वो मैन इन माई लाइफ ओनली वन वो मैन इन माई लाइफ मैंने कहा ठीक है तो फिर कहता है अब तुम जाओ उम्र पे जाओ तो वापस आ जाना तो इन वी विल सिट एंड टॉक अबाउट इट बट आई रिग्रेट एवरीथिंग लाइक व्हाई आई डिट सपोर्ट यू व्हाई आई वाज नो दे फॉर यू व्हाई आई डिट गो टू चिल्ड्रन स्कूल एंड चिल्ड्रन पेरेंट्स इवनिंग व्हाई आई लेट ऑल द जिम्मेवारी ऑन यू ही से आई रियली फील की थी कि मैंने डॉक्टर तो हॉस्पिटल तो एजुकेशन तो घर का तो बिजनेस का सब तुम्हारे पे बोझ डाला अन आई वॉन्ट टू डिपेंड आई मैंने कहा ठीक है मैंने कहा जब मैं उम्र में से आऊँगी ना फिर देखा जाएगा मैं भी ऐसी तो चली गई उम्र पे जब मैं गई ना तो मैं जब एक दिन मैं सफा मरवा पे सही कर रही थी मेरा तीसरा उम्र था तो मैंने कहा अल्लाह 
मैंने कहा सारी उम्र इसी में गुजर गई कि बस अकेले अकेले खान ने वो सपोर्ट में इन लॉस प्रॉब्लम खान उनके साथ है तो इधर है तो माँ बाप भी नहीं है बहन भाई भी नहीं है मैं कह अल्लाह मैं डिजर्व करती हूँ गुड लाइफ मैं भी डिजर्व करती हूँ कि मेरा भी कोई हो मैं कह अल्लाह मेरी जिंदगी तेरे हवाले है अब तुम मेरे दिल में वही डालो जो मेरे लिए ऐसे वो मेरे दिल में डालो जो मेरे लिए अच्छा है अगर क्योंकि खान से मैं बहुत खफा थी मैं हमेशा उसकी रिस्पेक्ट करती थी हमेशा खाना बनाती थी तो सबसे पहले उसको खाना देती थी खान अपने पर्सनल काम हमेशा से खुद करती थी उसने मुझे ऑर्डर अराउंड नहीं किया ये उसकी बहुत अच्छी आदत है कभी भी वो अपने पर्सनल काम मुझे नहीं देता था पैसों की कमी कभी खान ने मुझे नहीं की अगर मैं कुछ भी मांगती मुझे दे देता था मुझे कभी तप्पड़ तुप्पड़ नहीं मारा गाली वाली नहीं दी बस ये गुस्से का तेज था तो मैंने मैं बस यही दिमाग में किया कि ये एफर्ट कर रहा है ये सारा कुछ कर रहा है मैंने कहा अल्लाह मेरे दिमाग में वही डालो जो तुम तुम कहते हो कि वो सही है मेरे लिए मेरे दिमाग में मेरे दिल में वही डालो क्योंकि मेरे बहुत शिकवे हैं खान से कि इसने ऐसा नहीं किया इसने वैसा नहीं किया इसने मेरी बात नहीं मानी इसने ये नहीं किया ये मैं मुझे डिप्रेशन इसकी वजह से हो गया ये अपने माँ बाप के के सामने खड़ा नहीं हुआ मेरे लिए अपनी बहनों के सामने मेरे लिए खड़ा नहीं हुआ तो मैं कब बस अल्लाह वो कर दो जो मेरे लिए बेहतर है मैंने कब मेरी जिंदगी तेरे हवाले है बस ऐसे मैंने कह दिया जब मैं वापस आई तो एयरपोर्ट पे इतना बड़ा बुखे लेके खड़ा था मैंने कहा वाओ जो आदमी थर्टी साल उसने मुझे एक फ्लावर नहीं दिया वो फ्लावरों में मुझे कवर कर रहा था इतना बड़ा बुखे था मैंने जब बुखे लिया मैंने कहा पुष्टों में मैंने कहा तो ठीक है तुम ठीक हो ओके तो हंस पड़ा तो कहता है मैं तुम्हें फूलों में लाद दूंगा घर आए जब घर आए तो फिर उससे गलती हो गई फिर उस घर आए तो नाश्ता कुछ भी तैयार नहीं किया तो मुझे बहुत भूख लगी थी क्योंकि फ्लाइट भी लंबी हो गई हम बेरेन में वेट भी किया और ऐसे करके मुझे फिर गुस्सा आ गया मैंने कहा देखो इसको पता है कि मैं इतनी फ्लाइट से भी आई हूँ ये भी किया मैंने कहा देखो फिर वही आदत देखे नहीं फिर उठा कहते मैंने चाय इसलिए नहीं बनाई कि मुझे पता था कि तुम बाहर नाश्ता पसंद करती हो तो मैं तो मैंने कहा कि तुम सो जाओ तुम आराम कर लो मैं मैंने कहा मैं कहा सोई हूँ मुझे तो भूख लगी हुई है मैंने कल से कुछ नहीं खाया क्यों हम, हमने चेकआउट भी कर लिया था फिर शाइन के साथ एयरपोर्ट गए फिर बहुत बड़ी गस्सा है वो भी सुनाऊंगी आपको तो तकरीबन चौदह घंटे से मैं भूखी थी तो मैंने कहा और मैं प्लेन में कुछ खाती भी नहीं हूँ मैं तो मैं भूख से मुझे कहा नींद आई फिर मुझे लेके गया वहाँ चाय खाना पता नहीं कुछ है वहाँ मुझे लेके गया चाय पिलाई सब कुछ किया मैंने कहा लड़का तो बदल गया है लड़का लड़का तो बदल गया अब जब वापिस आई चाय वाय से तो कहता है कि अब मैं ना तुम्हें दर गई तुम मेरे साथ जाओ मैं वहाँ पे हमारा एक फार्म हाउस ऑलरेडी बना हुआ है तो खान और बाबा ने मिलके बनाया था तो कहते हैं मैं वो कहता हूँ कि वो सही करके बना लूँ क्योंकि मैं दरगई से वहाँ से मूव हो जाऊँ वो गांव से वो बहुत पुराने ज़माने का घर है इनका तो हम मैं और मेरे बच्चे जब तुम लोग आओ तो वहाँ पे हम विज़िट करें वहाँ पे वो मैं मॉडर्न सा बना लूँ तो वहाँ मैंने कहा मुझे कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं है तुम्हारी जायदाद में मैंने ऐसी रूडली सी कह दिया मैंने कहा मुझे कोई इंटरेस्ट नहीं तुम्हारी जायदाद में तुम्हारे झगड़ों में तुम्हारे उसमें मैं कहा मैं फिफ्टी ईयर ओल्ड हूँ मैं मैंने अभी इस उम्र में जायदादों को क्या करना है मैंने कहा फिट एम हूँ तुम्हारी जायदादों का मैं कहा लेकिन हाँ अगर फार्म हाउस है और मैं वहाँ पर जाके थोड़ा सा आराम करना चाहती हूँ तो कोई बात नहीं हम कहते मेरे साथ आ जाओ फिर वहाँ दो तीन इंसिडेंट ऐसे हुए कि कुछ लोग इसको कौन कर रहे थे इधर से उधर से उधर से इसको गलत इसको इस्तेमाल कर रहे थे मैं इसके लिए वहाँ खड़ी हुई मैंने कहा नहीं तुम लोग इसके साथ ऐसा नहीं कर सकते तुम लोग ऐसा नहीं कर सकते जब इसने मुझे देखा ही कि ये क्या चीज़ है मैंने कहा मैं किसी से डरती नहीं हूँ गलत को मैं गलत कहूँगी मैंने कहा ये बहुत मासूम इंसान है मैं कहा तुम लोग ऐसे क्यों कैसे कर सकते हो उसके साथ इस तरीके से इसको एक और किस्म का हुआ मेरे पे कि ये औरत तो हर किसी के लिए हर किसी के साथ झगड़ा कर सकती है मेरे लिए और मैंने दो तीन चीज़ों में इसको नुकसान से बचा लिया उस नुकसान से बचने के लिए खान ने पूरा अपना आप मेरे हवाले कर दिया कि तुम अब तुम बताओ तुम 
कैसे करना चाहती हूँ मैंने कहा तुम बदल जाओगे फिर कहोगे कि मुझे कुछ नहीं आता क्योंकि यही सारी उम्र इसने कहा है नहीं नहीं तुम्हें कुछ समझ नहीं है नहीं नहीं तुम तुम्हें समझ नहीं है तो मैंने कहा तुम्हारे बच्चों को डॉक्टर लॉयर फ्रेंसिक साइंटिस्ट ये सब कुछ बनाया तुम्हारे बच्चों की शादियाँ की तुम्हारे सारे घर को संभाला सारा कुछ किया और एंड में मुझे क्या मिला कि नहीं तुम्हें कुछ नहीं आता तो मैंने कहा एनी वे उससे वो बहुत इम्प्रेस हुआ फिर वहाँ मुझे कहता है कि हम हम कहीं जाते हैं हम मैं तुम्हें कहीं बाहर लेके जाती हूँ तुमने छः वीक रोडों पे गुजारे तुमने इतना अल्लाह का शुक्र है कि तुमने इतने सवाब कमाए अब मैं तुम्हें ट्रीट करना चाहती हूँ मैंने कहा पहले तो मैंने कहा नहीं मुझे कोई शौक नहीं है मैं सारी दुनिया में फिरी हूँ मुझे कहते नहीं मैं तुम्हारे साथ जाना चाहता हूँ मैं कहा चलो ठीक है तो मुझे लेके गया कहते तुम्हें कौन सी जगह पसंद है मैंने कहा मुझे हमेशा से ख्वाहिश थी कि मैं अपर दिल और चट्राल और कैलाश जाऊँ इन जगहों पे मैं नहीं गई बाकी मैं हर जगह कहते चलो लेके गया नाफ यू बिलीव मी ही लुक आफ्टर मी लाइक बेबी लाइक ही लिटरली आस मी टू स्लीप इन माई लाप एंड वॉज अ ट्रेवल फॉर ट्वेल्व आवर थर्टीन आवर एंड आई वॉज स्लीपिंग इन हिज लाप एंड ही वॉज लाइक यू नो लाइक For for a minute, I feel like that I'm sleeping in my father's lap. No, but he, he's not. Yeah, he's not. Mm-hmm. But he look after me. Like he continuously feed me. Mm-hmm. He never, he never take these things. Like yeah. even I say I'm dying out of pain. He say, okay, go to doctor. Yeah. And this time when I say, ah, he hold my tummy. Literally, he hold her. <laughs> and he's ah, he shout to the driver, Rosa, Rosa. And you know, like he would keep feeding me. He would keep buying me flower on the travel. He kept asking me how I, how are you, how you feel, how. He was being a husband, a he, loving husband. No, the good husband. A loving husband. A loving husband. Mm. Like exactly like my father, mm. the way my father loved his wife. Mm. And then he kind of may win my heart. And, <laughs> yeah, honestly, and then he. Like little thing. If I ask for little thing, he just literally go. Mm. I do it usually when he take me to the bazaar with five kids, and then it's Nimaz time. He say, okay, it's my Nimaz time. He left me in the bazaar and come come to Nimaz. Mm. But this time, literally, like he did so much effort, mm. so much. And you know what? One and time, it was over the six week. The six weeks after six week. Like it was yeah. like last three weeks. Okay. Like last three weeks, nine week guys spend day, mm. and that was last three weeks mm-hmm. only. The six weeks he was keep trying, trying, mm. trying. But, but I didn't. Change, no. I I say no. This is this is this is. You're fake. gonna change. Yeah. I say you're gonna change. You're mm. gonna change. I say I don't want to keep any hope because mm. then always you break my heart. Mm. But. After six weeks, that happened, and then you know the way he look after me in Upper Dil, Chatral, and you know all these places, and he would keep saying, "Please don't bring old story again, please." I feel really guilty, and I really feel guilty. Why? He say you're the woman I love in age of um, 20, mm. like you know, I, like he say. So. For those he keep compliment me. He never compliment me before. He keep compliment me how beautiful I am, how graceful I am. Even though sometimes I say that oh I'm fat, he said no, you're not fat. He said the these clothes only look nice on you, not on other women. And he was so good. And I said that's it then. That's what I want. So Alhamdulillah. So you know what I was just saying like the when basically so. I'm in my late thirties. Okay, Mum's got old, old children. Yeah. But even at this age, we want our parents to be happy together. Yeah. Okay? Every child. Like the them. moment we found out the mama and papa are close again, forget about everyone else. The Siddiq. Yeah. Siddiq, who doesn't care about those kind of things, he was over the moon, and he was just. We have a smile on our face because at the end they. And no matter what your age, you always want to see your parents together. Yeah, and that is something that you—it's—it's it's the normality of it. It's where your happiness is when your parents are together. And obviously, before it was like you know they were together, but they were unhappy. Yeah, and like that, argument, uh, yeah. we never fight, fight, but we. We argue on little things like you could clearly see that they were unhappy. They unhappy weren't. They, they, they weren't. Yeah. They weren't happy together. We were together just for sake of children, basically. That, that's it. Because I, 
even I, though we you know, we want we, our children to have a good life even though we, we would like them. we're older we're married whatever it is but they always sacrifice that and the thing is as children we would always tell my mum that if you're not happy just leave papa we, we yeah, said that to no, her a thousand times yeah. my father told me my children the only me. person that didn't yeah. was Malia. Malia Malia from day one has always been against telling my mum or my dad that you know if you're not happy with one another they even told another. a dad that if you arguing if you have been yeah. but we only argue because of Khan family yes yeah. that's all it there is, is them nothing but the, the, the main between us. thing was as well dad he is clearly romantic mom yeah. wanted affection yeah dad didn't want to give no, it no that's the other thing yeah. and the third thing is khan is very arrogant yeah he he think he knew everything he think that i'm perfect he's not arrogant he's arrogant with you I mean, with me that's what you i know say. he like if you see him you will say oh mama's lying yeah this he's a very man is an person. angel yeah. because he's he's islamic guy he even didn't do anything haram he alhamdulillah he even didn't lie this guy even didn't lie and then you know nobody can believe me that oh this man is like that because and he is so mitha to other people and when it's come to me he treat me like a like 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 no even like harim like mm. Oh, you don't know nothing. Yeah. Oh, this is wrong. Oh, you did it wrong. Oh, forget about you. Uh, yeah. You know, like I'm going to be talking to him and he walk away. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. It's just that thing. You know, people would say, oh, you know, why stay in a relationship if you're not happy and all that stuff. But the thing is, when you've gone through so much to be with one another, which my parents have, they fought the world to be with one another. So, and especially my mum. So if that's the case, if it doesn't work out, you want to try. You everyone wants to wants it to work out. No, Papa Khan give message to young boys that mm. look after this woman. If you want to win your woman heart, just look after them. You know, money won't and it do anything. It doesn't take much. It Honestly, just look after them, respect them, give them respect as much as respect you can give the lady. Give her love and give her support. It's not like only financial support it can be any support but give, tell her you are there for her yeah like loads of women are working women they're earning their own money they don't need a man's support but yeah you know they need the shoulder to put their head Emotional on it support. and like you know Han never be my uh, best friend and in these three weeks he's my best friend I told him <laughs> everything about how people hurt me yeah. how people did that to me usually when I talk to him he said oh I don't need to talk about yeah. anyone no 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 forget it I don't and then I I just yeah. left even even if I talk about something serious he said oh forget it I don't want to be uh, a, you know part of your yeah. me but I, think, I don't want to do it but I now he listened I think the main thing is be your partner's best friend. Best friend. If you can be your partner's best friend, you know how to think. Yeah. You won't hurt them. You'll know what they like and dislike and you'll try and do that. You'll respect them. And if somebody, and you'll be loyal to them. So if somebody says anything bad about them, you'll stick up for them. So like, you know, he was proudly, Nafia, he was proudly telling someone in front of me that don't mess around with this woman mm. she will bat you like he was so proud yeah he was telling her don't mess around with this woman like he was he was yeah, it's, a, it's like it's like pumping you know it's like how, yeah. being pushing your best friend yeah. you know so he was pump, uh, he was gaining try to gain something from papa and i say hang on why are you doing this why are you doing this? and then papa smile and laugh and he said don't mess around with yeah. this woman she will put you on your place it's like and having it's so happy it's having each other's back yeah. you know so yeah that's the, the and you need that and that's what a companion is so i feel like your relationship as a wife and a husband will change yeah it'll go from being absolutely in love with one another and crazy madly in love like a girlfriend boyfriend right at the beginning then when 
kids come and responsibilities come, you might lose one another. So try and not lose the friendship. That's what Papa said. That's, yeah. That was he said. It was too much responsibility. Mm -hmm. I was making my family happy and I was earning money for my children. Yeah. And then I forget about you. Yeah. And you get say, lost. Yeah. You know, like you're yeah. holding each other's hand. Yeah. And in a crowd, you lose each other. And then he said that, and then you just keep you, apart from me yeah. then you say okay you know the right person and then that's it I was even more lost because yeah. you even show me your back mm. so I say okay then and then he said then I realized that what I did wrong that when pe when I saw other people attitude I say okay I should give that time to my wife and my children which yeah. I didn't and now it's never too late he says it's never too late I'm still, he said, I'm still young, I can do it. <laughs> I said, okay. Yeah. And then that's the, that's the whole story. So Alhamdulillah, when I was coming, he was literally, like I used to travel all around the world and I, wherever I go, I used to go to him and I say, I'm leaving, keep me in your dua. I always say that to him. And then he said, okay, bye. Never, never say, never show me anything that I'm gonna miss you or anything. And this time when I say, I'm going, he was like, keep, keep, talking about it okay so you're gonna go after two weeks okay uh, text me okay call me and don't disappear so when I was in plane he texts me like 10 times he said where are you where are you you disappear again I say I was in flight for God's sake and then you know he never say I love you to me like he said if I complain that why you didn't say I love you to me he said you know that I love you like I, you are the woman in my life, so you know, do I need to say? You need do, to say. Do, do you need me to say that I love you? I say yes. Subhanallah, even Allah wants you to tell him that you love him, you know? That's it. So now, every, like three days I'm here and he texts me, he says, I love you. I show Nafia, I say, you're my your father. Now he say, ooh. <laughs> so yeah, he sent me kisses. And Nafia said that, oh, he know the right emoji. I say, yeah. <laughs> I thought he don't know nothing, but he know everything. So yeah, yeah, so our French, we're very happy, but sometimes it gets a little bit... <laughs> it's like, well. And I was sleeping on his chest. He took literally my picture. <laughs> that was a very bad selfie. That was a very bad selfie. My nose looked like that big. And he said, oh, you look so cute. I took the picture. So when you go away, I'm going to look to that picture. And I said, uh, uh. I said this is a, such a bad selfie. I said, you shouldn't do that. I said, you should take it like that. Guys, you have no idea. Honestly, every single one of us, every single five of us have been praying for this for, I think this was our, we've been praying for this for ages. Yeah, like for ages. And uh, I don't know, it's just, I guess the timing was right. Everything has its own timing. You know what he said? When I, uh, I said, that's it, are we going back home? He said, no, 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 this is our honeymoon. So literally, he'd never take me on honeymoon. Yeah. He never took me on honeymoon. And I was, a, I come from the family where it's only my father love his wife, my brother love his wife. And they all gone on honeymoon. Even my father took my mother on honeymoon. So whenever I say, oh, you didn't take me on honeymoon, he said, that's a bakwas thing. I don't believe on honeymoon. They, they just bakwas thing. And he was literally saying, this is my honeymoon after 37 years or whatever, because I married him age of 14. So he was, he treated me like a newly married, married wife. And then um, he said that uh, 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 we are newly married people. We are newly married. He was even telling his children, we are boyfriend and girlfriend. <laughs> I said, oh my God. <laughs> oh, it was blushing. He used to say to my children, he said, oh, we are boyfriend and girlfriend, okay? Don't mess around with us. And now, you know, like, uh, he said, oh, Sabia, you want me to do hair transplant? I said, no. I said, no, you shouldn't do hair transplant. You got a heart problem. He said, no, because uh, um, I think you, you, you look young, so I should do a hair transplant. I said, no, no. I don't want you to have a hair transplant. That's it. It's okay. Oh my god. So now yeah, Alhamdulillah, he tried to fix his hair as well for me and then He's wearing hats. He's yeah, wearing, he's wearing hats, hats, yeah. 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 And now uh, you know what uh, when I was coming uh, he said, When are you coming back? And I say, Inshallah, let me spend some time with my kids and then I'll he said, Make sure you come before Eid. I say, I'll see. And he said, No, you have to come quick. <laughs> I don't want to be a part. 
and he said when you come I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna make this room so beautiful full of flowers uh -oh. and I'm gonna put candles on and I say oh no no okay I say okay I say okay 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 and let's see what he's doing now I'm gonna share everything with you guys uh, so, so yeah I guess uh, I think uh, you know what a lot of people were saying as well that we do, we doing the bar as well the inshallah everything will be fine look this. thousands of my yeah. my Instagram family mm -hmm. thousands of them they're so happy they say we love to mm -hmm. see both of you together even we knew that you live together but there was no that lovely jubbly yeah. uh, um, thing in it and uh, they're all so happy uh, yeah. even my youtube family they are very very happy they show uh, papa khan that look uh, um, all the youtube family and they're happy and usually when i took the camera out papa khan said like that and now yeah. when i took the camera out he quickly come to join <laughs> me he said whatever make you happy I'm you know why that. because the videos obviously he, he's watched every one of my he videos he watched each of every and he said you never nice uh, to me you always quite front of me so i used to watch your video and i used to say that's my girl <laughs> yeah so you know what he said he said sometimes you give advice to people and i say hmm, logo ko to advice deti hai khud amal nahi karti so yeah now inshallah i'm gonna go back let's see what pop, i wish he never changed again um it's, I'm only scared of his bad temper. I was telling Mum at the end of the day, temper. look, whatever it is, if you can take, if best friends could shout at each other, whatever it is, it's fine. You can, you can do that, but just don't hold grudges in it. That's that's the thing. I'm a kind of person. It's for him. He can shout, and next minute he'll, he'll be forget. okay. Yeah. But me, I hold. Mm. I hold only for him. Mm. For no one, for him. If he shout to me, then I'm gonna be crying for ages, and I say, why he shout to me? <laughs> like, because you know he loved me. That this is his love marriage. Mm. I was only 14, but he was 24 year old. So this is his love marriage. He choose me out of thousand girls. So he should look after me, isn't it? Yeah. Am I wrong now, kid? No. Oh, Marco. Harim is sleeping. Anyway, so yeah, this is um, Mama, the love story. Yeah. What, what I should vlog this, uh, name this vlog? I'm in love. I'm in love. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. Yeah, okay <laughs> then. It's gonna be that, okay? I'm in love. But Papa Khan is in love as well. Yeah. So yeah, mm, yesterday he said, did you book your ticket? I say, it's three days only. I say, it's three days only. I'm not gonna book my ticket that quickly. <laughs> Oh God, so man, really, it's so cute. He really looking forward for the whole family. He yeah. said, "I want to." Inshallah, uh, we're all gonna go in August. Yeah, he said, Inshallah, "I hopefully. want all my children come, and they, they literally saw us, and they say I always feel bad for my children because my children suffer as well. Uh, they never see the relation of parents. Like we never go." A holiday together we mm. never did like even True. in the park every time I just mom, my, mom, main mom, mom, mom. my main problem with that, that, that my husband is never here with me mm. he either working or either with her parents or either with Tabligh and yeah. uh, Hajj so or Umrah that's so true we've got memories with mom but we don't have memories with nothing, mom and dad nothing like I take them cinema alone I take them swimming yeah. class alone I take them to school alone I take them masjid alone I take them holiday alone, shopping alone. Even our Eid used to be alone. Yeah. He used to go spend Eid with Baba, and we spend Eid alone. Yeah. And I take them Pakistan alone, everything alone. Mm. So he want to show his children now that. So now, inshallah, they, his their grandchildren are gonna have good memories. That's what them. he say. That's what he say. I don't want my grandchildren have that memory that. Uh, okay, our grandparents was not together with us, mm. so he want to make it, inshallah. Let's see um, how is that gonna be. Inshallah. We're gonna end this vlog here. Oh, just before we end, by the way, I don't know if my mom told you, but me and Samaya have taken over Anha. Yes. And um, we are gonna. We've already released a collection, and Alhamdulillah, I did really good. So we are gonna. So it's just plus size. Uh, for plus size women. हम मोटे हैं ना तो हम मोटे हैं बेचेंगे. हम मोटे हैं तो हम मोटे ही बेच देंगे. बेचेंगे. बेचेंगे. So yeah, the, um, do check the page out. Mum will link the the Anha. Anha. It's Instagram. I'll actually, page. we'll actually add the 
my video add the video yeah. where all my thingy is yeah um because we want you to know about it there's a different it's mama's platform and you lot of following from all kind of different countries every single country she goes to she stopped it's crazy oh and another one thing i'm stuck from last seven eight months from uh 49.6 <laughs> this never did 50 i really want uh, to have a 50,000 subscriber so now if you're gonna throw her party please please share my videos I don't get know. your families to share. Get, share uh, no, get your families uh, I to want subscribe. That 50, Let me hit that fifty thousand. Go on to just make fake accounts and just uh, subscribe. Yeah. <laughs> get my mama to fifty k yeah. so we can throw a party. My, my vlog used to be watched overnight by. 20 30,000 but now it's slow down maybe you don't like me anymore no I um, don't think that's what I it don't is. know but I feel like that you people kind of fed up of me no do you know what it is it's because the thing is I think a lot of people like chit chats you yeah know? and um, I think what you and Papa should do is probably sit down and talk to oh, Papa can chat. do anything for me now so I was have asking chat. him, I said, me and you going to do you a challenge. You should do challenges together. Uh, he said, okay, uh, Sabia, uh, Sabia, Sabia, uh, can, can we do uh, a challenge? The makeup <laughs> was so funny. Oh my God. The makeup video. Did you? That was real. Like, I was doing makeup and he said, oh, let me do your makeup. And I said, can you? He said, yeah, I know how to make you even more beautiful. And I said, if I record it and first he get quiet and then he said yeah yeah come on <laughs> so that was his first effort oh. he did my makeup so that's what you can do you can see challenges on mum's thing yeah, just leave in the section uh, comment section yeah what kind of things would you like to see from mama and papa yeah so and also what would you like to see from me and mama and what would you like to see on mama's channel yeah and please make fake accounts and subscribe to mama's yeah, channel yeah please okay, okay. i want to hit that fifty thousand from last eight months eight months no I was 10 months old so yeah. from the even my subscriber was more but it's go low so um, I don't know what happened uh, someone t told me that it's sometime YouTube do, does yeah. these things so from last 10 months it's stuck on 49.6 that's it no even one go up and <laughs> even I go email that the many subscriber come down but maybe people unsubscribe me yeah. whatever if, you know what I I literally uh, never ever beg like other YouTubers to sub uh, subscribe me or oh, but we should but so we, we should we should so I'm begging to you now that please make me hit that 50,000 because the people who was like 2,000 3,000 subscriber and my one was 20 25 they hit the 70,000 now and I'm kind of upset oh, now few people I know Who is it? yeah a few people <laughs> oh. yeah like they were literally uh, comment on my it's Maliha okay so let's say bye hello, hello. we just by the light we just by the light city road okay, okay. so please uh, share as much as these videos are uh, let me hit that 50,000 so before I go to Pakistan I want to celebrate that 50,000 subscriber party please do it please do it please do it okay thank you so much we will see you in another vlog, inshallah. And bye-bye. Bye. Love you.